This is question 8 of 2014-15 semester 1 exam. We are going to evaluate a double integral, which is integrate 60x squared y dy dx, where limit of x is from 0 to 1, and limit of y is from 0 to 1 minus x. To do this integral, we evaluate the inner integral first. We will expect to y, which is, so if I highlight, this is the portion we are in trying to integrate with respect to y, the inner integral. Okay, so now, when you do the inner integral, with respect to y, you treat x constant, all the x are considered constant. That's why I have this treat x constant here. So if x is constant, you are actually integrate, you treat all the x constant as you integrate with respect to y. So you take out all the constant, which include 60 and x squared. And now you integrate from 0 to 1 minus x, y with respect to y. Now, using the power rule, power rule say that if you integrate x power n dx is x power m plus 1 over m plus 1. So, for y x power 1, you get integrate with respect to x, you get x squared over 2 for n equal to 1. Therefore, making use of that, so integrate with respect to y for y, we are going to get 60x squared, integrate y, get y squared over 2, where y is from 0 to y equal to 1 minus x. And that will give you 60x squared. Your y become 1 minus x now, so this is 1 minus x squared over 2, and when y equals 0, you also get 0. Simplify it, you get 30x squared times 1 minus x whole thing square. That is the inner integral. Now, we replace the yellow part inner integral by 30x square times 1 minus x square. So this is actually the integral from 0 to 1, 30x square times 1 minus x whole thing square dx. So how to integrate this? We must expand 1 minus x first. So you can recall how to expand 1 minus x. 1 minus x is equal to square it is actually 1 minus 2x plus x square. So, and multiply by x squared times 1 minus x squared is equal to, or multiply by x squared now is equal to x squared minus 2x cubed plus x power 4. Therefore, this integral is equal to integration of, you can take out a 30, as 30 is a constant, 0 to 1, x squared, minus 2, x cubed, plus x power 4, dx. Now, again, recall how to integrate the power rule. 
x power n dx is x power m plus 1 over m plus 1. So the first term you integrate, there are actually three terms here, let me do it slowly for you. First term is integrate x square. Second term is take out a 2, integrate x cubed with respect to x. And then last term is integrate x power 4 with respect to x. And you apply the power rule now. This is equal to 30 x power 3 over 3 x from 0 to 1, I'll, I will write down the answer later on, minus 2, x power 4, over 4, and then followed by integrate x power 4, you get x power 5, over 5, where x from 0 to 1. And so, after substituting x equal to 1 and x equal to 0, the first term you have 1 over 3 minus 1 over 2 as 2 and 4 cancel and then plus 1 over 5 and then second term when you put x equal to 0, they are all 0 okay let's put in all 0 here so the answer is 30 times okay, 1 over 3 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 5 so the final answer is 30 times 1 over 30 because 1 over 3 minus half plus 1 over 5 is 1 over 30 so the answer is 1 The following demonstration is show you how to do the integration 30x squared times 1 minus x squared between 0 to 1. So in the calculate mode, mode 1 here, I press equal, then I press integrate. Now I enter 30 times x squared, so 30 times x squared, alpha x square then multiply again open bracket 1 minus alpha x close bracket square again then limit from x equal to 0 go up x equal to 1 then equal you'll find the answer is 1.